What's up everybody? You're here with the Fly Guy. Okay, so today I'm doing a little bit of fly testing. I want to see what's going on here. Um, the water is a little bit cloudy. The wind has been really causing some upwelling um, from the bottom, so uh, the surface currents have caused a bunch of mud and dirt to be uh, stirred around. And I am going to start off with a black headstand jig and I'm gonna see if these fish respond to it. If not, we'll move on, we'll try something different. So come along with me today and let's see if we can't get into something. Oh, nice take right there. Right in front. Nice fish. Nice fish. He's got some size to him. All right, well, there's a nice bass. Today, I'm using a short five foot fluorocarbon leader, and the tippet is 12 pound test. I'm coupling that with a floating fly line and a jig style fly that's weighted. That floating fly line, when stripped, will pull that jig fly up slightly in the water column and give it a nice jigging action. Okay, let's go ahead and get this guy back. That was a nice fish. Just missed one right there. Man, I missed that fish right there. He was right up close. Oh, this is a big fish. This thing is massive. Oh man, this is a massive fish. Okay, folks, this fish is huge. This fish is huge. Okay. I am using 10 pound tippet here. This fish is a monster. I don't know if I'll be able to get him in. This is gonna to be tough. Okay, he's coming in. I'm getting a little ground here. Oh, man. Oh, he's coming in. He's coming in. Oh. Oh, oh, man. <sighs> this eight weight is doubled over. Oh, man. Now, I've only got 10 pound tippet, so I gotta be careful. Once he makes a bolt near the shore, I'm gonna have to really be careful here because I could break this fish off in a second. Come on in, buddy. Come on in. During this battle, I ended up hitting my camera harness and I knocked my camera out of focus. Uh, it was basically pointed straight down for a few minutes, so I missed uh, the part of the fight where I actually was bringing the fish in. The footage from having my camera pointed straight down was pretty much garbage. So here's some footage starting from when I had the fish beached. Man, look at the size of that fish. I've got him beached in the shallows. He's in some water here, so he'll be good for a minute. The headstand jig, again, proving its worth right here. I mean, look at that fish. Look at him compared to my rod. And this is a common carp. Look at that fish compared to my fly rod. That fish is just flat out big. The wind had been stirring up the bottom uh, in the shallows and creating a mud slick. Uh, there was actually a small current seam out in front of me uh, because the surface currents 
actually were uh, ripping past a small little cove and on the edge of this current line where clear water began I started to get strikes from these feeding bass. I changed over to the Marblehead Worm and they seemed to react really well to it. Yeah, nice fish. That fish is solid. Nice. Oh, yeah, nice bass. Nice bass. Nice bass. Marblehead worm does it. I'll take it. Let's get him back. Let's get another one. There we go. There we go. Nice fish. Another nice bass on that marblehead worm. Nice little bass. Man, this marblehead worm's doing a trick. Nice fish. That's a take. Wow, swam right towards me too, man. Nice fish. They are just stacked up out there. If you can, I'm having trouble casting this weighted fly in the wind out into this little open area, the slack water, but they are stacked up in there. Nice fish. Tell you what, they like this worm. They love this worm. Well, looks like I hit the nail on the head here. Marblehead worm getting it done. Even though it's still early in the season, and the conditions were tough with the wind, I was still able to come out with some nice fish. I caught my first bass of the year, and I came out with a really nice sized carp. That fish was big. If you like this video, go ahead and hit thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more fly fishing and fly tying content. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Take care, and we'll catch you next time.